Good and happy Saturday morning. I've been holding back. Sorry, I took my time. Kind of in vacation, kind of trying to get over social media. And I, I, I don't know what's going on around the world. It's just hectic and crazy. I hope you're all safe. That's all I'm saying. Some hard times. Some hard times. And I got so many messages. I said, I got to get back and give it my input. Uh, input? Input? Sorry. Um, and review on stuff. Um, I wanted to wait. Maybe the review would be different, but I doubt it. I am 10 hours in. I know it takes about 50 to 60 hours to finish this one. But I want to be honest. It's funny how people go crazy to go buy the collector's edition and they're hyped for this game and everything. I was hyped too. And I do own the Wii version, which is the original. Never unboxed. And I opened my 3DS version. I don't know. There's something about it. I'm disappointed. Disappointed. I, by far, to me, adored these two so much. They're masterpieces to me. The story, the everything, uh, the bad guys, the good guys, the playing with the blades and, and the combination of moves and the battle system and ah, just wow. This, you just have one stupid sword that could, I'll be honest, I'm kind of really pissed off. I was overhyped for this. I should have played it on my 3DS and tried it. I'm happy I got it. I'm painfully playing through it. I want to sell out and be like everybody else and be a Nintendo fanboy and be like, oh yeah. No. No. It's something. The characters. I don't care. Shulk and everything. And oh, eh. Some robots. The Terminators are attacking. The Mechon. The, the bad guys are not even appealing. And the, the other ones, you fell for the bad guys. You wanted to kill them. You had passion. You like. Oh man, I hate these bad guys. And this, fighting robots without emotions, they're attacking, you don't know why. I'm only 10 hours in. And I'm trying to push in and be like, oh yeah, it's so good. The battle system sucks. I, I just don't like it. Back in the days, you used to know how to break your opponent and destroy them and everything. Now you're randomly pushing moves and I don't know. I don't know. You, you, In a fight, you'd be able to switch two characters. This one, whatever character you pick as your leader, that's who you play with. They could uh, change the battle system a bit. The story, I don't care for it. I'm, I'm barely looking at it. I think whenever the cutscenes goes on, I take on my cell phone, like check Instagram, whatever. I wanted to be... Wow! That's the first one in the series. Not my favorite. Not my favorite. Maybe I'll get better. Maybe I'll do a review after. Maybe I was wrong. But I'm 10 hours in. And I'm painfully playing through it. I don't care about stupid sword with the mystical powers, whatever. It unlocks powers. And they suck so far. Nothing really. Some fights, you're super overpowered. Some other fight, like always, you get killed instantly. But there's barely no challenge in the fight. I, I just not feeling it. I don't get what the hype is. I don't get probably gonna get some hate on this video. I don't get why people are so like, wow, this was the game. Maybe back in the days, if it was, if it was the first one I played, maybe that's it. If I didn't play these two, which are living masterpieces to me, the story, the everything. Maybe if I played this one first, yes, maybe I would have liked it. Like, this game originally came out, I don't know, 10 years ago? Something like that? I'm not even sure. But uh, now I want to unbox my Wii U version of Xenoblade Chronicle X and try it out on my Wii U. See if it's better than this. Because if they do do it remastered on Switch, I don't know if I'm going to buy it. I'm, I'm, I'll play through it some more, but at first glance, 10 hours in, I, I'm painfully playing it. Like, when does it get good? 
characters you don't care for. Character gets killed off right in the beginning. You don't. Really, you, you barely get attached to it. Fiora dies. Boom. Right there. I'm like, okay. Thought it was sad. She was a good character, but don't have time to get all emotional in this story and everything. Now you just basically controlling a magic sword with superpowers. The Manado. <laughs> I'm really disappointed. I'm sorry. It never still doesn't grasp me. I love the battle with the blades. Back in the days, you had those blades like second spirit humans that you can control and do some crossover superpower knockout moves and it was super awesome. This one, all the enemies about to kill you. It does a flashback in time and it lets you see the future. Then you can counter move whatever the boss is going to do or fight. Sorry. Maybe I should have played that one first. It would have been a different review. I don't like it that much. So I'm in the middle. I don't regret buying it. I'll try to... I don't want to put more time into it. That's the thing. I want to play something else. That's how I feel. I'll try my best. If not, I'll do an after review when I finish it. I wanted to play... Sorry, at least 40, 50 hours before doing it. Seriously. And I thought I was gonna, never going to get there because in 10 hours, I was like, new, no. new. No. I'm glad I have it, but meh, that's, that's all I could say. So I can't say rent or buy. If you didn't like Xenoblade Chronicles 2, well, you can forget about it, but there's something about it, something missing. The world, the everything is beautiful and as always, but you're fighting off two titans. It seemed limited, but I don't know. Something missing. It's really hyped up. I wish I played more on my 3DS. That was unboxed version. I would have seen. But I love you guys. Enough of me whining. Let me know what you think about it. A lot of people bought it. I think these days, like myself, a lot of these games I didn't finish, but the Xenoblade Chronicles, except for X, I'll play through it, I'll finish it, we'll do another review after, but for now, I'm really in the middle. I would say wait, wait for a price drop, basically, I'm just saying. I played, I, that's what I have a feeling of. Did you finish Thorna, the Golden Country, and Xenoblade Chronicles too? Did you like it? Did you did you finish it like two times? Two times a walkthrough completely, both of the games. A lot of people are buying Xenoblade Chronicles. They didn't even finish Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And I guess we just buy brainwash hype stuff and that's it. And I'm one of them. Can't complain, but I was expecting more. I could have been smarter a bit. And look at some gameplay, because if I I hadn't known it was just about one stupid sword instead of blades and like the good old battle system, maybe I would have not buy it. I don't know. I don't know. It's really... I'm all messed up with this game. I'll put some more time into it. Love you all. And I'll come back in 50 hours and do a final review. See if that changed. Even the power up and everything, the upgrades, is something not appealing to it. I don't know. Love you all. Have a great day. Let me know what you think about it. To you, if you finish some of them that I named, I never played X. That's about it. But I will now. Is it better than Xenoblade Chronicles 2? I'd like to have, I'm sure Xenoblade Chronicles 3 won't disappoint at all. Pretty sure. Love you all. Have a great Saturday.